Hello, today in this class, let's discuss about green communication as telecom vendors as well as operators are moving towards green telecommunication networks. So let's discuss about that. What are the effects in green communications? So if I have a complete network and this is my green network, So in this green network, we require that we are going to use energy and that energy is renewable energy. So as the power that we are using is like consumable, we, are, we have to pay and that is totally non-renewable energy. So we require like in a green network, we can use renewable sources of energy. That means we can use wind energy and we can use solar energy to make a network working. That means use of renewable energy is aspect, is the very first aspect in green network. Then we are going to use next as power amplifiers. Power amplifiers require to amplify the power constraint now as per the topology as per the topology of a green network we are going to use agile basis basis and next we will use femto cells that means the smaller cell network as in the topology of the network architecture, agile basis, flexible basis. And we are going to use the femto cells in the network in topology considerations. Next, as for the operations. So as we have a number of sites and those sites are working 24 hours in a day continuously. So we require to save the energy. So that's why we are using some different operations in green communication network now as per the operations we have some site level turn off by turning off we are saving the energy so we have site level turn off we will use concept of cognitive radio that means saving the spectrum as well as we have a concept of smart grid. Which is electricity based. Now as per the operations we have next we have a map control that means medium axis control. That would be same. Other expect in green communication is our matrices. Now, as in a mattress, what are the things like we require to take care of power efficiency, power efficiency, power efficiency is the first, first parameter. Our network should be computational, computational network and it is communication specific. specific this is in matrices now as per the peripherals now as per the peripherals we require like there should be cooling parameters proper cooling of a network we have transportational network So in a green communication, these are the things that we require to make live in our network. So green communication in a network, that means major focus is to save the energy. As we have, like we have a number of users and according to them, we have a number of the base station and each and every base station requires power to work. 
So green communication network has basically a aim so that it can minimize the use of energy and it can use the renewable sources which is totally environmental friendly. So power amplifier is the very first parameter that we require to use as we have another parameter which is renewable energy to save the energy. So irrespective of electricity, we are using the wind and the solar energy which is available for us in abundance. Next we have Topology, we are going to use the smaller set as compared to the bigger sites. Operations, we have a site level turn off and cognitive radio so that we can save the frequency as well as the spectrum. Smart and we have MAC, power efficiency, we have cooling parameters. So these are the some aspects like what are the things that we require to use in a green network. So as in a green telecommunication networks, So as for the aspects, in this green telecommunication, so first of all, we have a green telecom networks. So green telecommunication network. So in this green telecommunication network, we have very first, which is the minimum utilization of energy. Minimum utilization of energy. So how do we utilize the minimum energy through like we can use energy efficient technologies. We can use energy efficient technologies so that there is a minimum utilization of energy. Next we can use renewable energy sources. As we had discussed that we can use wind and solar energy so that we can minimum use these energy and otherwise we focus on a renewable energy sources and also we require to focus on environmental friendly technologies which are totally environmental friendly we require to focus on that so that we can have main aspect which is a green telecom network. So this is a brief introduction of a green network that what are the things that we require in a telecom network if we are focusing on a green communication. We have more in this that we discuss in our classes next. Thank you so much.